Hi there. In this video, I wanted to show a couple tips for cropping your prints and editing your images in QImage. We have some photos here, and I'm going to focus on this photo in the top left. You can see that the photo has a little bit more space to the right here than it does on the left. So one way to crop your images is to double click and crop the image itself in the image editor. And we can do that by just clicking and dragging. I could drag, let's say, this area here. And then if I stop about right here and I crop that, now I have about the same amount of space on the left and right. And I can just click Done, OK. And what that does is it actually crops the image so that whenever you're working with that image, you're only looking at the cropped portion. And now when I click the Print Properties button and I add an 8x10 and a 5x7, it starts from the crop that you did on the image and it will make a, an 8x10 and a 5x7. As you can see, the default crop is to crop out the center, which now is the cropped area. So it's looking at the cropped area of the image, which is now our new image and it's taking out the center and that's your default crop. But we might not always want the same crop for different size images. This image here, to get it to be an 8 by 10, which is a different aspect ratio than the original, it had to crop out the center and you can see that there's less space uh, to the edge of the shoulders here on an 8 by 10 than there is on a 5x7 because the 5x7 is a different aspect ratio. Now of course we could click on print properties here and turn crop off and that would give us the whole image without cropping but now it's a 10 by 6.97 which it has to be to conform to the ratio. So with crop on to get us the 8x10 that we wanted and the 5x7 that we wanted you notice that the crops are different because the aspect ratio of those prints are different. So there's another way to do this. You can actually crop the print rather than the images. So let me go back to this image here. Right click and I'll do remove filters. And we can see that the only filter that I put on that was crop. So I can just delete the entire filter. When I do that, you'll see that the image goes back to its original form. It takes off that crop that I added, and now we're back to the original with no crop as it was shot. Now, if we just take the original and we add an 8x10 and a 5x7, we can see that once it crops out the center by default, you have very little space here to the left of this shoulder and a lot more space on the right. And this one's not so bad because it didn't have to crop the left and right as much on a 5x7. But what we want to do is adjust these individually to get the exact crop that we want on an 8x10 and a different crop on the 5x7. And we can do that by going into the page editor. We can click this edit page button down here. And over on the right side, we have two tabs. We have size and location where you can set the exact lo location of your print on the page. We have a cropping tab that allows you to crop each print. Now with the 8x10 selected, we can simply take this small cropping tool here and drag the image to the right a little bit. And as you can see, the print updates on the page and we have about the right amount of space on both sides. And we can even zoom in a little bit here on this and get a closer shot and just drag this to where we want it. Now the beauty of this is that that is the crop for an 8x10. You've chosen the crop for this image for an 8x10 size. Now I'm going to click on the 5x7 and we can adjust the crop on the 5x7 in a similar fashion. You just zoom in and adjust the image how we want it and even zoom in a little bit more and now we have an equivalent 
crop for an 8x10 and a 5x7. We've adjusted the 5x7 crop independently from the 8x10. And you can see that this little crop button here indicates that we have a crop identified for this 5x7 size and we have a crop identified for the 8x10. Now when we click done, you can see that it honors our crop that we adjusted there on that full page editor. And the great thing about that is, let me take these images out. If I come back a month or a year from now and I choose this image and I do the same thing, I add an 8x10 and a 5x7, you can see that it has remembered our crops that we did, a separate crop for the 8x10 and a separate crop for the 5x7. And anytime you choose that 8x10 size, you're going to get the crop that you adjusted for the 8x10. Anytime you choose a 5x7, you'll get the crop you adjusted for a 5x7. And it even works for the same ratio prints of a different size. This is an 8x10. So if we double each dimension and we print a 20x16, we'll also get the same crop on a 20x16 because the aspect ratio is the same. So that's another way to do your cropping. You can actually crop the prints. And as you can see over here, we still have the original image. We haven't modified the crop on the image. This is as shot over here. But when we add an eight by 10 or a five by seven, it remembers the adjusting that we did on those crops. Now, if I take, I do a four by six, you look at the four by six, you can see that the crop has not been adjusted on the 4x6. That's because we haven't identified a 4x6 crop yet. And if we wanted to do that, we could go back into the page editor, select the 4x6, and do our crop for a 4x6. Zoom in. 4x6 is yet again a different aspect ratio than a 5x7. Okay, so now I've made a 4x6 ratio crop. When I click Done, and now it will remember that. Anytime I do a 4x6 or an 8x12, it'll use that crop. So you can have as many different crops as you like and you can adjust each one separately based on your print size. And again, when you do that, when you're in the page editor and you're adjusting the crop here, it isn't changing your print size. This print is still a 4x6, as you can see. No matter what you do here, no matter how far you zoom and how you adjust it, it keeps your print size, you're just adjusting the crop. So those are two different ways to adjust the crops in QImage based on what you want to do and how you want to handle that. And I also wanted to quickly show you one other thing. If we're in, I'll double click this image to bring up the image editor. And if we're going to make some final adjustments here to this image before we print, uh, let's say we're going to make an exposure adjustment to get this to pop a little bit more. If I click this exposure button here, you can see that the image comes up and I'm going to right click in the middle of the face here to bring up this in the center. These two little buttons down here are toggles. The one on the left toggles the last filter that you touched. So it says right now hold to toggle the exposure filter on and off because we just use the exposure filter. The one on the right says toggle the entire filter on and off. So we just did an exposure adjustment to bring out the shadows and highlights a little more. And if you want to see what that looks like, you can left click on this toggle button and hold it down and you can see the difference before, after, before, after. So that's a good way to see what you've adjusted here and see how it looks before you accept the filter. So I just wanted to show you those two quick tips and hope it helps you in your editing and printing in QImage. Thanks for watching.